All right, I thought it'd be great to give a quick review of the performance on this broadhead that I used Tuesday night on that buck I shot here in North Dakota. I chose to use the Wasp 125 grain jackknife. On uh, this broadhead, you should know that it, it, it went through the shoulder blade on one side. Again, the shot was just a little forward. That's my fault. Probably rushed it since he kind of busted me drawing up there. Um, but I was aiming for the crease and ended up hitting him right straight through the shoulder. Busted that leg right up. So it was just dangling there. He had no use of it. It went through the ribs, through the heart, through the opposite ribs on the other side, armpit area there, and actually stuck into the opposite leg and did some damage there. Um, when I found the deer, it had not been still lodged in that leg, but it uh, definitely sustained some damage. So, two things to worry about right away when you shoot an animal through the shoulder is penetration and blood trail. Um, obviously penetration, you're worried about getting an excellent hole. Um, two holes are better than one, especially if from an elevated tree stand. You, sometimes you worry about how much blood you'll have coming out of a higher entrance hole versus a lower exit hole. Again, two holes better than one. So I wasn't sure at that point if I had a pass through per se. When we did get to the animal and we rolled it over to start quartering it, um, I have a picture of that, but the, blade, the broadhead is poking through the other, that opposite side. And it was fully intact yet, as you can see right here. Both blades are on it. But when I finally cleaned this up today, and to take a hard look at it, again, I'm impressed with the tip. It is like new out of the package. This is very sharp. And for going through bone, um, obviously, that's very strong. I mean, normally, I've, I've had other tips bend over just a tad, dull up, but not this guy. And the ferrule, is perfect and I have one blade on this one side here that can fold right back up functions properly and is actually fairly sharp yet. so the only uh, damage this guy did sustain is on this other blade here a little bit of rolling over down near the bottom half and it bent so obviously it sustained some torque going around or trying to go around or through a bone and again the top half has an edge to it yet so not too shabby I mean, I've had other broadheads that hit shoulders and you know they don't come out with all the blades uh, or the tips are damaged um, or I certainly don't get a pass-through which I call this pass-through because I had two um, holes in this animal or I don't get a pass-through so this guy made it through all that material and into the opposite leg so very impressed with this broadhead. It definitely did its job. Uh, that animal uh, succumbed less than 100 yards easy. And he was dead on the run, basically. But um, this guy could be reused. Um, replace the blade, and it's good to go. Back in the quiver. Outstanding job by the wasp, jackknife, 125 grain.